Republican U.S. Senate candidate Karen Housley is in the middle of a whirlwind 18 stop and 44 hours bus tour of the state. One of the first stops on the tour was in Bemidji today at 4.30 in the morning. The tour finishes in Housley's hometown of Stillwater, but many of the stops along the way are in greater Minnesota. These are the folks that are going to uh, make or break this election. So we're, we're hoping that everybody in greater Minnesota gets out because sometimes it becomes a, a rural Minnesota versus metro. And uh, the Democrat Party of the metro is not the Democrat Party of, of the rural areas. And uh, uh, they are, they've re turned Republican. The Democrat Party has left them. And so uh, they're, they're coming out in swarms to be voting Republican. Also this morning, Republican candidate for U.S. House of Representatives Pete Stauber stopped by the Beltrami County GOP headquarters to meet with supporters. Stauber was greeted by, at the door by fellow candidates from the area, Senator Paul Utke and Representative Matt Grosso, as well as Representative Matt Bliss. During his speech, Stauber thanked the veterans and his fellow councilmen in the room. He then went on to say he was working for the next generation. This is a great country, and I think everybody in this room, we get to call the greatest country on earth home, and that's a privilege. And so what we try to do is make sure that your generation is, uh, is more free, more prosperous, uh, more opportunities. And that's why I'm running. And uh, these past 16 months have been a blessing to be able to meet each and every one of you. No Democrats in Bemidji today, but tomorrow the DFL's Go TV bus tour stops in Bemidji at 1 p.m at Paul Bunyan Park. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.